Every day across the world, alarm clocks are going off, telling children it's time to go to school. And we hate it. We dread the idea of spending an entire day in class, doing homework, taking tests, and taking for granted all the opportunities it gives us. What we don't realize is that in many parts of the world, children, especially girls, are never given the opportunity to go to school and get an education and do better than their parents did. Recently, my family was given the opportunity to go to Kenya to visit a child we sponsored. We were so excited to bring her gifts and our love and learn about her way of life. Here's a great name, David, Liz, wow, and Ian. Yeah. What's yeah. Easy? What we learned there, I could have never prepared myself for. This is a culture and a tribe where girls as young as 11 years old are married off to much older men in exchange for livestock. She would likely be one of many wives and would never get an education. Possibly the worst part is that she will be subjected to a ritual known as FGM, or female genital mutilation, where a girl's genitals are cut away, causing her many health issues throughout her life, such as difficulty in childbirth, infection, and other challenges. Much like branding a cow, these women are cut as a sign of ownership to this man. Their sole purpose in life is for breeding and housework, cooking, and cleaning. Many girls live in fear of this inevitable future. And because they have no choice in this matter, many of them will run away to the nearest place they can find hope. We came across such a place as we toured the village of our sponsored child in Kenya. We visited a school of girls who had run away to avoid being sold off in marriage. In this school, they taught them the very basics about human rights their rights to their own bodies, and their rights to not have their bodies mutilated, and a right to have an education. I watched as the things we take for granted had to be drilled into them as if to be reprogramming them. Because now they have known their rights. <laughs> the right of living, the right of coming to school, the right of having basic needs. When I wake up in the morning, I see other children going to school. I wonder why not me? I need education. As I listened to the girls recounting their stories of escaping in the night and being chased and hunted by their own fathers, I couldn't imagine living in such fear of my father. And I was so encouraged to see that through organizations like this one, my family is able to sponsor girls and give them opportunities they wouldn't have otherwise. These girls are receiving an education and will one day be nurses and teachers and make a good living and perhaps one day they will be able to show their families who they can become and begin to change the culture to expect more from a girl. Perhaps these women will be able to eradicate the practice of FGM. Since returning from this trip, my family has become a strong advocate for girls like this. And by simply telling our story, we now facilitate the support of 10 girls in Kenya who have run away from a the life they fear. The problem of FGM is widespread and enormous. It is my hope that spreading the word will help open the eyes of those who practice this ritual and see their girls as valuable, skilled, worthy members of society that deserve everything that boys do. If you wish to be a part of this solution, simply search for an organization who is addressing the problem of FGM and sponsor a runaway, and you will have saved a life.